Well, welcome to our meditation today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're just now jumping in, you can um, press mute, and that way there won't be any feedback from anybody's video. And so today, as we're recording this, we're be, be working on a little bit of uh, downloads that are kind of coming in from the Divine Goddess. And this has been coming in for the last several days. Of course, whenever it affects you is the perfect timing for it to be in your perspective. It doesn't have to necessarily be at that exact moment in time where we are, because time and space really doesn't have any differentiation once you're dealing with the spiritual realm. So we'd like to just talk a little bit about the angels and the guides and the spirit guides. And so we'll be moving through a really beautiful space of healing today. I'd like you to find a comfortable place. And if you can, you can just lie down and just let yourself relax back. So take a moment to get yourself set up or you can just lie back and completely relax. And gently just allow yourself this opportunity to receive. So just simply taking in this time and this space in your life to be in a place of healing, to be in a place of loving kindness and peace, and just begin to relax completely. Take a moment to call in our angels and our guides, our spirit guides, calling in our master teachers, specifically our archangels, moving through the Christ consciousness stream of white light and pure love. A moment to ground yourself and settle into the earth and just breathe in and out through the nose deep breath in deep breath out allowing yourself the opportunity just to relax you can take your palms open next to yourself let your arms drop out to the side let your arms roll out and cup your hands into a symbol of receiving just breathing in and out through the nose. Begin to find yourself in a tranquil place, beautiful place in nature. And find yourself surrounded by greenery, ferns, huge trees. Feel the wind blowing through the trees, hearing the wind move the leaves rustling softly. And begin to connect in with the spirit animals that would like to be recognized in this space. We have the deer coming in with her little spotted babies behind her. Just watch them as they move across the meadow in front of you. Just being so calm and so serene that she doesn't even know you're there. Quartz light from the center of the crown of the head. Bring it down. All the way down deep into your heart center. Drawing this right at your heart center, you see a beautiful ruby. And around the ruby is a beautiful rose. The rose is sealed fairly tightly. And as we begin to draw energy in from the crown of the head, bringing it in through our heart, the rose begins to unfold. And as the rose begins to unfold, we see this beautiful ruby blooming from our heart center, very center of our being. And radiating beautiful love and light out through the front and the back of our heart and in all directions. And begin to draw energy in from the crown of your head down into your heart center, swirling like a spiral around the rose petals 
and blossoming out through this beautiful ruby, showering your field of energy with carnelian and ruby light. You can have your eyes closed, or if your eyes are open, you can look at this beautiful yantra here in this angel book. And this is the yantra based on the carnelian healing stone and the angel Isda, offering the gift of nourishment. And Isda has wanted to come into our space today to give her message, and so I'm going to read a little bit about what she is offering today. To connect with angel Isda feels like molten honey rising up from the earth and descending from the sky. Her energy is somehow simultaneously light and substantial and effervescent and slow burning all at once. She is stable, warm, present, and safe. She's often known as the angel of food, but she's actually the angel of physical, emotional, and spiritual nourishment. One of her key tasks is to help humanity learn how to give the self what is wanted and needed. Allow yourself to know exactly what you're hungry for, so you'll eat and just just enough to be nourished, but not to be overfed, only what you've needed. Begin to just tap into this angel, letting go of being surrounded by possessions, tapping into the energy of healing light, beautiful red, carnelian, ruby energy. Let go of attachment to the actual possessions, or the fear of emptiness of not being filled. This can also be buried under a weight of acquisitions and material possessions in addition to nourishment and food. Letting go of any attachment or addiction we have to material possessions or eating. Asking Angel Isa to help heal that in our body, in our emotional body. This also relates to the inability to hold our dreams in our life. So catching a dream in your heart, remembering that dream, the dream that you have, this beautiful energy of healing and love. Remembering the dreams that we had when we were a little child. And honoring those dreams. Honoring the ability to dream. Feel this beautiful energy of love and light drawing in from our highest center. Feel it radiating into this beautiful energy of the ruby in our heart. Beautiful lotus flower around our heart or the rose. We're going to draw energy in from the crown of our head, pulling in pure white light energy. Pulling in that energy, drawing it all the way in to the very center of our being. As we build this energy, feel it gather in our heart center, fulfilling our physical body, reprogramming our DNA, filling our energy body, moving out any blockages that are there, drawing in this beautiful fuchsia and red light into our emotional body, and moving out any blockages or any memory of old habits that are emotionally triggered. 
and then drawing in this beautiful energy through all the layers of the body out into our wisdom body. You're going to tap into your highest self, bringing this energy up from our heart into our third eye, projecting it out into the world as far as we can reach. And continue to draw this energy in from the crown of our head, in through our heart center. As it gathers in our heart center, use this beautiful ruby to recharge in your heart. And as it fills up, begin to pulse this light energy out into your circles all of the people who are in your immediate circle of contact. You continue to draw this energy in and send it pulsing out into your community, the white light of the pulse to all of your sacred sisters and brothers. You continue to draw this energy in through the crown of the head, gathering up into the ruby of the heart and pulsing out into your world. Feeling all the circles of brothers and sisters joining through the divine sacred mother. We continue to draw in the crown of the head, gather this energy in our heart, recharging through this beautiful ruby and carnelian energy and pulse it out sending it out into the world as a radiating pulse of love, touching every circle, and then inviting each circle that this energy touches to do the same, drawing it in through the crown of the head, easier and easier. As we draw this energy in and send it pulsing out, it begins to eventually reach every single light worker in the world. And as we sit in this beautiful frequency of love and light, drawing in pulses of fuchsia and carnelian and ruby frequency, sending it pulsing out through our heart, reaching each other, reaching other planets, healing our planet. To begin to step out of your body and draw yourself away from your body and see yourself sitting or laying. And begin to draw yourself back further and begin to see the earth as a whole and see all these little pulses and frequencies of light emitting from all of the human's heart center, bringing our Mother Gaia back into perfect alignment. And allow this to continue as you rest. Allow this cycle to continue without any effort. Just let it go and continue to flow Standing in the flow, just like a beautiful waterfall pouring over the head, sending it out to the front and the back of the heart. And begin to check in with this beautiful, sacred place in nature that you've created, this tranquil place. And ask you to heal all the souls. Healing all of the ones on the spiritual path removing any negative frequencies and letting that just drain out into the earth. And Mother Gaia will transmute that into healing energy. And begin to notice all of the wonderful things in this beautiful tranquil space that we've created, beautiful healing energy of the space with the greenery and the ferns and the trees. And begin to notice the streams of water near you. Perhaps it pools up in rivers or lakes. Tapping into the flow of our planet. Tapping into the watery nature of our bodies. Allowing ourselves to go with the flow of life. Continue to sit in this flow for as long as you'd like. Remembering this tranquil place is always a beautiful tranquil place that you can come to anytime you'd like to, to be completely recharged and regenerated. Asking your spirit guides and your angels and your archangels and your master teachers to come in and join you in this sacred space of high frequency and light. And remembering every single day to ask our angels to come and join us. 
our mission is so much easier with their help, and they want to help. Take this moment to completely tap in. Bring your hands to our heart center. I'm going to end our session with the crystal bowl. Allowing yourself to remain relaxed. ourselves into alignment with our highest good, our highest self, for all of the intentions of the highest good for our planet. Honoring ourselves and honoring each other. Begin to come back to your body. Feel your body laying on the earth. Completely relaxed and refreshed and renewed. Just feeling this little lotus or this rose around your heart center, bringing your hands to your heart, either an Anjali Mudra or just laying your hands over your heart center. Honoring ourselves, honoring the light within each other, honoring the light within each so much for your practice today. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.